Let's say that you went to a birthday party, and as a party favor, you were given five lollipops. Now, you like red ones, but your friend likes green lollipops, so you two decide to split them into two piles. You put the red lollipops in one group. And the green lollipops in another. Now, what we've just done is we've just created a number bond. A number bond has a whole number. And this is called the whole number because it contains the whole, or all, of the lollipops. The number bond also has two parts. These are called parts because they each contain part of the whole number. Now, we can also write a number bond with regular numbers, too. So, our whole number is 5. One, two, three, four, five, because we have five lollipops all together. And then there are three red lollipops in this part. And we have two green lollipops in the other part. Now, number bonds show how parts are related to the whole. And this can help us understand both addition and subtraction. In addition, you take two parts and put them together to make a whole. For example, let's say that you had three red lollipops and your friend had two green ones. If you two put them together, you'll get five lollipops. We can also write this as a number sentence. If we do three red lollipops plus two green lollipops, we'll get five lollipops. We can also use a number bond to help understand subtraction. In subtraction, we start with the whole number and take away a part. Let's say that you started with five lollipops, but you gave two away to your friend. Well, in that case, we would start with our whole number, which is five, and take away the two green ones, because we gave them to our friend. And if we took them away, that would be like crossing out this part, which would leave us with the three red lollipops. So that's a simple intro to number bonds.